Network Security Online Training Learn and improve your skill with professional trainer Pro Excellency Introduction Understanding Network Threats Network threats refer to potential risks and vulnerabilities that can compromise the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of data and resources within a computer network. These threats can be internal or external and may include malware, viruses, denial of service, DOS, attacks, data breaches, unauthorized access, and social engineering. Importance of Network Security Network security is vital for protecting sensitive information, maintaining business continuity, and safeguarding critical infrastructure. A breach in network security can lead to financial losses, reputation damage, and legal liabilities. Implementing robust network security measures helps prevent unauthorized access and ensures the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of data and resources. Key Concepts and Terminology In the world of network security, some key concepts and terminology include Confidentiality – ensuring that data is accessible only to authorized individuals or entities. Integrity – guaranteeing that data remains unaltered and trustworthy throughout its life cycle. Availability – making sure that data and resources are accessible when needed. Authentication Verifying the identity of users or devices attempting to access the network. Authorization – granting appropriate privileges and access rights to authenticated users. Encryption – converting data into a secure form to prevent unauthorized access during transmission or storage. Firewall – a network security device that monitors and controls incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predefined security rules. Fundamentals of Cybersecurity Cybersecurity Principles Cybersecurity principles are the foundation of any effective security strategy. Some key principles include Defense in depth Implementing multiple layers of security controls to protect against a variety of threats. This involves using firewalls, antivirus software, access controls, encryption, and other measures. Least privilege, giving users the minimum level of access necessary to perform their tasks, reducing the potential damage if their accounts are compromised. Separation of duties, dividing critical tasks among different individuals to prevent unauthorized actions. Continuous monitoring, regularly monitoring networks and systems for security incidents and anomalies to detect and respond to threats promptly. Patch management, ensuring that software and systems are kept up to date with the latest security patches to address known vulnerabilities. Types of Cyber Attacks Cyber attacks come in various forms and understanding them is crucial for effective defense. Some common types of cyber attacks include Malware, malicious software, such as viruses, worms, trojans, and ransomware, designed to disrupt, steal data, or gain unauthorized access. Phishing, deceptive emails or messages that trick users into revealing sensitive information or clicking on malicious links. Denial of service, DOS, and distributed denial of service, DDoS, attacks, overwhelming a network or system with excessive traffic to make it unavailable to legitimate users. Man in the middle, MITIM, attacks intercepting and eavesdropping on communications between two parties. SQL injection, exploiting vulnerabilities in web applications to manipulate databases and access unauthorized information. Zero-day exploits, 
targeting unknown vulnerabilities that have not yet been patched by software vendors. Risk Assessment and Mitigation Risk assessment involves identifying and evaluating potential threats and vulnerabilities to determine the level of risk an organization faces. Mitigation strategies are then implemented to reduce or eliminate these risks. This includes Vulnerability scanning, scanning networks and systems for known vulnerabilities that could be exploited. Penetration testing Conducting controlled simulated attacks to identify weaknesses in the security infrastructure. Risk management, developing and implementing policies and procedures to manage and mitigate identified risks. Incident response planning, preparing for potential security incidents with well-defined response plans to minimize the impact of a breach. Network Architecture and Design Secure Network Topologies A secure network topology is the arrangement of devices and connections that make up a network with security in mind. Some secure network topologies include Perimeter Network DMZ a separate network segment used to host public-facing servers, isolated from the internal network. Star topology, a centralized topology where all devices connect directly to a central hub, enhancing security by reducing direct peer-to-peer -peer connections. Ring topology, a topology where devices are connected in a circular pattern, which can provide redundancy and resiliency in case of failure. Network segmentation. Network segmentation involves dividing a network into smaller subnets or segments to control and isolate traffic flow. This reduces the impact of a security breach and restricts lateral movement for attackers. Security Zones and Perimeters Security zones define boundaries within a network where specific security policies are enforced. Perimeters are the outer boundary of a network, typically protected by firewalls and other security devices to control access and filter incoming and outgoing traffic. Access control and authentication User authentication methods User authentication is the process of verifying the identity of users attempting to access a network or system. Common authentication methods include Passwords Users provide a unique password associated with their account. Biometrics Using physical or behavioral characteristics, fingerprint, face, voice, to authenticate users. Smart cards Users insert a card with an embedded chip that contains authentication credentials. Multi-factor authentication MFA requires users to provide two or more forms of authentication, adding an extra layer of security. Role-based access control, RBAC RBAC is a policy-based access control system that assigns permissions to users based on their roles and responsibilities within an organization. This ensures users only have access to the resources necessary for their job functions. Implementing Strong Password Policies Strong password policies require users to create passwords with a combination of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Passwords should be regularly changed and password reuse should be discouraged to enhance security. Network Firewall Technologies Firewall Basics and Types a firewall is a network security device that monitors and controls incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predetermined security rules. Different types of firewalls include Packet filtering firewalls examines individual data packets and filters them based on source and destination IP addresses, port numbers, and protocols. Stateful firewalls 
tracks the state of active connections and allows only legitimate packets to pass. Next generation firewalls NGFW combines traditional firewall capabilities with additional features like intrusion prevention, application control, and deep packet inspection. Configuring firewall rules Firewall rules define what traffic is allowed or blocked by the firewall. Administrators must carefully configure these rules to strike a balance between security and usability. Intrusion Detection and Prevention Systems IDPS. IDPS monitors network traffic for suspicious or malicious behavior. Intrusion Detection Systems IDs, detect threats while intrusion prevention systems, IPS, actively block or mitigate them. Virtual Private Networks, VPNs VPN Concepts and Protocols VPNs provide secure communication over the Internet by creating encrypted tunnels between devices. Common VPN protocols include PPTP, L2TP IPsec, and SSL TLS. Site-to-site versus remote access VPNs Site-to-site VPNs connect entire networks, enabling secure communication between different locations. Remote access VPNs allow individual users to connect securely to a private network from a remote location. VPN Deployment and Best Practices Proper VPN deployment involves choosing the appropriate encryption protocols, implementing strong authentication methods, and regularly updating VPN software to address potential vulnerabilities. Network encryption and cryptography Symmetric versus asymmetric encryption Symmetric encryption uses a single secret key to both encrypt and decrypt data. Asymmetric encryption, also known as public key cryptography, uses a pair of keys, one public key for encryption and one private key for decryption. Digital Certificates and SSL TLS Digital certificates are used to verify the identity of websites and entities in public key infrastructure, PKI. SSL TLS protocols use digital certificates to encrypt data during transmission over the Internet. Securing data in transit and at rest Securing data in transit involves encrypting data during transmission to prevent unauthorized interception. Securing data at rest involves encrypting data stored on devices or servers to protect against unauthorized access. Wireless Network Security Wi-Fi Security Protocols WPA, WPA2, WPA3 Wi-Fi Security Protocols are designed to protect wireless networks from unauthorized access and eavesdropping. WPA2 is widely used, while WPA3 is the latest and most secure protocol. Securing Wireless Access Points WAPs Securing WAPs involves changing default passwords, disabling unused features, using strong encryption, and regularly updating firmware to prevent security vulnerabilities. Wireless Intrusion Detection Systems WIDS WIDS monitors wireless networks for unauthorized access points and suspicious activities to protect against rogue devices and potential threats. Network Monitoring and Incident Response Security Information and Event Management, CM CM tools collect and analyze security event logs from various sources to detect potential security incidents and provide real-time alerts. Detecting and Analyzing Security Incidents Detecting and analyzing security incidents involve monitoring network activity identifying anomalies, and investigating potential threats to determine their severity. Incident Response and Mitigation Strategies 
Incident response plans outline how to respond to security incidents, including steps for containment, eradication of threats, recovery of systems, and post-incident analysis to prevent similar incidents in the future. Web Application Security Common Web Application Vulnerabilities Web applications are prone to specific vulnerabilities that attackers can exploit. Common vulnerabilities include SQL injection, cross-site scripting, XSS, cross-site request forgery, CSRF, and insecure direct object references. Web Application Firewalls WFs. WFs are deployed to protect web applications from common attacks by inspecting and filtering HTTP requests and responses. Secure Coding Practices Secure coding practices involve writing code with security in mind to prevent vulnerabilities. Developers should validate input, avoid hard coding sensitive data and sanitize output to mitigate common risks. Cloud Security and Virtualization Securing Cloud Infrastructure and Services Securing cloud environments involves implementing strong access controls, encrypting data, monitoring activity, and regularly auditing configurations. Virtualization Security Considerations Virtualization security focuses on securing virtual machines, hypervisors, and the underlying virtualization infrastructure to prevent unauthorized access or attacks. Cloud Compliance and Governance Cloud compliance involves adhering to industry regulations and best practices for data protection and security when using cloud services. Mobile Device Security Mobile Threat Landscape Mobile devices face various threats, such as malware, phishing attacks, and data breaches. Mobile security solutions are necessary to protect sensitive data and prevent unauthorized access. Mobile Device Management MDM. MDM solutions help organizations manage and secure mobile devices by enforcing policies, remotely wiping data, and ensuring devices are up to date with security patches. Protecting data on mobile devices. Encrypting data on mobile devices and using strong authentication methods help protect data in case the device is lost or stolen. Network Security Best Practices Defense In-Depth Strategy The Defense In-Depth Strategy involves implementing multiple layers of security controls to protect against diverse threats, increasing the overall security posture. Regular Security Audits and Assessments Conducting regular security audits and assessments helps identify vulnerabilities, weaknesses, and areas that need improvement. Continuous Security Improvement Cybersecurity is an ongoing process that requires continuous improvement to stay ahead of emerging threats and vulnerabilities. Cyber Laws and Regulations Understanding and complying with relevant cyber laws and regulations is crucial to avoid legal consequences and ensure ethical behavior in cybersecurity practices. Ethical Hacking and Responsible Disclosure Ethical hacking involves authorized professionals conducting security testing to identify vulnerabilities. Responsible disclosure entails reporting discovered vulnerabilities to the affected organizations without causing harm. Privacy and data protection Network security must comply with privacy regulations and protect sensitive data to maintain user trust and avoid data breaches. Legal and ethical aspects of network security Future trends in network security Emerging Threats and Challenges Staying informed about emerging threats, such as AI-driven attacks, IoT vulnerabilities, and supply chain risks, 
is essential to adapt security strategies accordingly. Innovations in Network Security Technologies Advancements in technologies like AI and machine learning will shape the future of network security by improving threat detection and response capabilities. Professional Development and Learning Resources Network security professionals must continually update their skills and knowledge through professional development and learning resources, such as certifications, workshops, and cybersecurity conferences. This ensures they are well equipped to tackle evolving threats and challenges effectively. Why choose Pro Excellency for network security online training? There are many reasons why you should choose Pro Excellency for network security online training. Here are some of the most important. Expert instructors, Pro Excellency's instructors are all experienced network security professionals with years of experience in the field. They are passionate about teaching and have a deep understanding of the material. Up-to-date curriculum. Pro Excellency's curriculum is constantly updated to reflect the latest trends in network security. This ensures that you are learning the latest techniques and best practices. Flexible learning options. Pro Excellency offers a variety of learning options, including self-paced online courses, live online classes, and instructor-led training. This allows you to choose the option that best suits your needs and learning style. Supportive Community Pro Excellency's online community provides a forum for students to ask questions, share ideas, and collaborate on projects. This is a great way to get help from other students and network security professionals. Accreditation Pro Excellency's network security courses are accredited by the International Information Systems Security Certification Consortium, ISC, Superscriptu. This means that you can be confident that the courses meet the highest standards of quality. If you are looking for a comprehensive and up-to-date network security training program, then Pro Excellency is the perfect choice for you. With experienced instructors, flexible learning options, and a supportive community, you will be well prepared to take on the challenges of network security. Let's connect with us. Plus 9187220795091 Vertical Bar Plus 9190089068098009 www.proexcellency.com Thank you for watching.